Hello and welcome back. Today we will be studying about internal diffusion restrictions in porous immobilized enzyme particles. So internal diffusion restrictions uh, comes into play when we use a porous support to immobilize our enzyme. Uh, earlier we have seen the effect of external diffusion restriction which was due to the stagnant thin film uh, surrounding the immobilized uh, enzyme particle. We saw that internal diffusion restriction has certain uh, effects over the kinetics of the enzyme and uh, it was either kinetically limited or the kinetics was diffusionally limited. So we have seen both the cases for impervious non-porous supports. So in case of porous supports, the situation becomes much, much more complex. So here uh, we can see that uh, the enzymatic reactions will depend upon the availability of the substrate. As we have seen in ex external diffusion restrictions also, the enzymatic reaction will depend upon the availability of substrate. So here we have a bulk substrate concentration as we had in the external diffusion restriction case. And this bulk substrate diffuses into the stagnant layer and substrate from this stagnant layer will now in this case in case of porous supports will move into the pores and reach the active site of the enzyme within the pores immobilized within the pores after diffusing within the pores of the particle so what is the main objective of using porous particle the porous particle provides a greater surface area for the enzymes to be immobilized. This is the primary reason why we use porous supports. And uh, at a, in a very small space, we can immobilize a lot of enzymes as compared to impervious supports. But it comes with its own drawbacks. The porous supports, inside the porous supports, the, uh, since the there is very minimum movement of the fluid, the medium, therefore the diffusion of substrate is also is very slow inside the support. So therefore, at every position inside the support, the conditions are different. In uh, enzymes at different locations experience different problems. Uh, enzymes uh, near about the surface will get more substrate because substrate concentration will be higher here and it will diffuse into into the support and as we will move uh, readily inward into the support the concentration of substrate would continuously decrease so we will see what are uh, what happens inside the support so if we zoom into one of the pores so we can see that enzymes will be bound on the outer surface which will experience the external diffusion restrictions okay this enzyme will experience the ex external diffusion restrictions and the support will uh, sorry uh, the substrate would diffuse the uh, substrate within the stationary layer will diffuse inside the pores and will eventually reach to the enzymes immobilized inside the uh, inside the pores and here when the substrate uh, gets converted into product similarly product will also get accumulated within the within the pores and our motive is that this product should come out of these uh, porous supports and the substrate should diffuse into the supports. So hence, therefore, a, throughout the process, a continuous substrate and product profile will get developed. Now, depending upon the uh, type of particle and the medium which we are using, uh, broadly three cases could arise. Okay. So in the first case, Suppose this is our axis for substrate concentration. Now in one case, 
this is the uh, this we can assume as the center of the particle okay and for this uh, y axis this will be the zero okay the origin for y axis we are assuming this and for the x axis that is the radius so this will be uh, minus r the radius of the particle is r and this will be plus r okay so in the bulk medium suppose the bulk medium is well agitated the concentration of substrate would be constant in the bulk medium okay and if the partition if the partition coefficient is 1 that is the substrate is getting equally distributed between the bulk substrate and the stationary layer then we will have a continuous profile of substrate concentration within the stationary layer and since this is a porous support the uh, the substrate in the stationary layer will continuously diffuse within the pores and hence we will get another profile here we are assuming that the nature of this material is neutral okay so this is for a neutral support the support has no role to play in attraction or repulsion of the product next we assume that the partition coefficient is unity okay so our substrate gets depleted to zero before reaching the center of the sphere a similar profile would exist this side also bulk substrate here we will have ss at this end and then inside the pores the substrate concentration would Okay. Actually, since this is not constant, I haven't mentioned it. Okay. This is the case. Uh, now, this this case that that within the support. Uh, the profile of substrate concentration within the support depends upon the nature of the pores also so if the pores are very uh, fine that is we are using micro porous substances then then we will have uh, such a profile okay if we will use macro or meso porous uh, supports then this profile might reach nearer to zero the substrate concentration might reach uh, to zero at the center or it may also not reach uh, to the zero level it won't get depleted uh, within the cent uh, if you reach the center of the sphere if the particle is macroporous so it depends upon the pore size this profile will depends upon the nature of the support the partition coefficient of the substrate with this uh, with for this support and the size of the pores of the support okay now in second case if we assume that the solid support the nature of the solid support is to attract the substrate it has properties to attract the substrate that is 
it might be oppositely charged to the substrate or uh, it if the substrate is hydrophilic the support might also be hydrophilic or the substrate is hydrophobic the support might also be hydrophobic so that means uh, it is uh, the, the nature of the solid support is uh, such that it attracts the substrate then it would it would result into accumulation of the substrate and then we will get a different profile for instance if the bulk substrate concentration it is a well mixed reactor again kp is 1 now here since um, the solid support is attracting substrate so we will get a rise in the amount of substrate within the solid support but eventually as as we will reach the center we will have uh, a continuous depletion of the substrate so we will get a curve which, uh, which would have its minima at, at, at the center approximately at the center similarly again this side the profile would be same So here this is the case when the solid support uh, the, uh, the solid support has has affinity for for the substrate. Okay. Now in the third case, if the situation is reversed, the solid support does not like the support. It repels the solid support does not like the substrate. It repels it. So in this case, the profile would be quite different. Now, the bulk substrate concentration is constant. Then we will have a certain substrate profile within the stationary phase, stationary layer. And then there will be, the substrate would vary it will uh, encounter a lot of resistance to enter into the particle but still it would enter to some extent and it might reach the center or it might not reach the center so this case is uh, of course not at all recommended and it and it is not preferred now these two are the uh, are situations where k is of course never equal to 1 the partition coefficient is not equal to 1 in both these cases and this is for the case when the substrate has more affinity for the liquid phase the substrate has more affinity for the liquid phase for the liquid phase or we can say solid support does not favors accumulation of accumulation of the substrate
So these profiles could also develop. Now, uh, when I was uh, explaining this case, I said that for uh, mesoporous particles, we could have probably we could have a profile in which and for case of macroporous particles we could have a case similar to this one that is the substrate the diffusion of substrate within the pores might be well facilitated So the substrate and product profile, similarly the product profile, the product would be more uh, found at the center than at the periphery because the substrate at the, the product at the periphery would easily diffuse out as compared to the product formed at the center. So the immobilized uh, uh, enzyme at the center of the uh, porous support is prone to less substrate and then uh, the, again the product formed at that place might be difficult to obtain or might even get killed if the uh, pro if, if the support is uh, very fine uh, microporous particle so it is highly recommended in for case of enzymes as well as cells that we use meso or macroporous supports uh, so that we can get sufficiently large amount of uh, surface area for uh, for our uh, enzyme to be mobilized uh, in case of both meso and macroporous particles so now uh, we will see that uh, how to study the kinetics since uh, the conditions at every place at every point within the support is different so and we can't we will never be able to analyze each and every enzyme mobilized within this support what we can observe is we can observe the overall effect of the of immobilization so uh, we'll have some uh, equations derived for different geometries of course the geometry would affect internal diffusion restrictions and we will see what and how does geometry and what factors uh, influence internal diffusion restrictions in our upcoming lectures thank you keep watching